Our subject, engine turning, takes its name from obviously what you've seen in the way of turning, but all these primitive machines were called engines. This was the predecessor of all lathes together with the, the bow lathe. This lathe was used in England and other countries in the world. We don't know for how long. Obviously you could move this lathe around and as the woods were felled you could travel. We can of course again use the rose engine using its rosettes in combination. William Hartley greatly developed the geometric chuck. Later, he was to devise a moving tool system which would shrink the loops and thus produced exceptional patterns. Here you can see the rack working on a pinion which transmits the motion up to the cutting tool. An example of uh, a steel engraving that is done on the, on the camp machine. The ink is put onto the pattern and is then wiped off and any ink that's left in the valleys of the plate are retained. It is then pressed onto the note to be printed under very high pressure, produces a very high quality print. You can feel it with your fingernail and it is used in the highest security banknotes. See the pattern is generated here from a roller. All this mechanism goes up and down which connects through to the tool, which equally goes up and down. The true beauty of this machine is that you can do whatever design you really fancy. And as society fosters the care of these tools, and new machines are being made, and you can see that we've come a long way from that woodland scene.